In this video, I will explain how to calculate the average price um, for years. Um, this number, it's important to have it in order to do some uh, valuation multiples. And for that, I will use the monthly data to estimate our average. Um, this um, data of monthly prices um, was explained in a previous video in the evaluation playlist. And I will start by selecting the average for the year 2008. You decide what year you, your data begin. If your data begins on the 2007, you will start estimating um, your average according to the year of data you have. I will, I will use the average by the end of 2008. And for that, I will input the simple uh, average um, formula, which is promedio in Spanish, on average in English. And by that, I will select only the last 12 data or the last 12 months prices. Close parenthesis and enter. So $20.65 20 is the average price for Microsoft for 2008. And in order to copy and paste this into a automatic way, I will select all the year range here, the blank, and I will um, keep on pressing or, or sustain click on the auto field um, here. Just click, sustain, and drag downwards till the last data which is on 2016. So for 2016, it will be just the last year, right? And, um, and the latest 12 trailing months is as simple as just copy the last formula and paste it on September data. So for that, I, will, I am estimating here the end year 2006 and the last 12 trailing months here because I, I, I might need that information. So this, in this way, I have it. I have all the, the average of the Microsoft prices for um, all my, my years. But I'm missing one thing. I need this information in the uh, compact range. I will type here price. This yearly average price. I will copy or I mean select all the all the range. I just select all the area. I copy. I copy all my range. <clears throat> and I will insert a new sheet just to, to make it easy. I will I will use another sheet in Excel and I will right click and a special paste. I can do it either right clicking and then selecting only, only numbers only numbers, not the formulas, or I can you go to as, um, clicking in the, the beginning and selecting also only values, only values, right? Those two ways are, are doable. And then I will, so have you noticed there is no formula? It's just the, the average number that I have here. I will select again all the range. You can, you can mechanically select all the all the data if you'd like and erase the blank spaces or you can either select it all you go into begin and use a filter once you click on filter you notice there is this common box here and you click it and you unclick the options empty enter you notice all the data is put together i will copy again last time Copy again and paste it only values. Again, right click, only values. If you notice, I, now I have all the, the data, only the data together. And here it was my first year, 2008. Second year was 2009. I can select both numbers. And again, auto fill. And automatically the numbers will are supposed to feel, but I will do it mechanically. 
2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, and this is the 12 trailing months I have here. Right? And this is uh, years. And this is the average. Price. I copy this information and one last, this is the last copy, I promise. And notice that you can copy the information and and you can transport it here from 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 columns to row. Right? You, again you, you right click and you select this transport action. When you, once you click it, now you have the information into rows as is all the key ratios you have. So I will I will copy here this information. This is the one we need. We go to the key ratios and then we can paste them right here. And that way we can have all the information for uh, um, every every year. So here we have 2000 from 2008 to the last trailing month, which is our 2016 data, right?